Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. What's up, babies? And welcome back to my channel. It's your first time here. My name is Christy. Hello, and welcome. Y'all, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, September 16th. 16th. I don't know. It's 16th. <laughs> I'm here with my baby Key. <laughs> She's like, let me walk over and introduce myself. Well, no, they know you. Um, hey, girl, they know me real well. Right. And she's vlogging, y'all. So she's getting ready to start her vlog channel. We'll let you know when the video is up. Okay. But today we're going to, we're just having like a little girl's day. We're going shopping. We're going to Miss Lola Beauty Supply. And then we're going to the Grove to do some damage. So, of course, you know, we're going to bring them girls. Period. See what we can get. There's a Richie at the Grove, Nordstrom. Excited. Um, Sephora, stuff like that. So, yeah, y'all. But let's go. It's already like two o'clock. So, I'll see y'all later. Keep all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V. Call me, fly you out to grief. Full speed, so for it, belly. Call me, keep all of your things, yeah. Stop it, put you stop it, Louis V. Yeah. Call me, fire you out the beat. Full speed, so for that belly. Speed pulse, baby, can make it beat. Waves in my ass, smoking weed. Been through the sand in the deep. All because of what I did on beats, baby. Light sweet, baby. I stop, baby. You just go get ready, we go out, baby. Long time looking for the cross, yeah. Andre had to bounce, yeah. Told me, keep all of your things, yeah. You can stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V, yeah. Told me, fly you out to peace. Full speed, so for that belly, yeah. Told me, keep all of your things, yeah. Stop it, put you stop it, Louis V. Yeah. Call me, fly you out the field. Full speed, sweet on Janine. Rolls Rice, but I'm getting bills. Eyes for love. All right, babe, so I'm back home. I just like don't like my hair today. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I didn't actually style it. It's just like blow dried. How about ear grow? Okay, I don't know. I think it needs to be cut. Like, I really like short hair. I like a bob. I like, like, a medium cut, you know? Also, I think, like, my eyebrows look angry today. Like, you know what I mean? It's like angry today. I just look, I don't know. I look like I've had plastic surgery. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know if my wig... <laughs> is pulling my face back or what it is but for some reason it's giving plastic surgery and i'm not trying to give plastic surgery because this mug is all natural rep but we just got back from the grove well not just <laughs> we've been back for like a cool minute maybe 45 minutes to an hour but today was a cool day. Like, it was a really cool day. I feel like we sat in traffic a ton today, obviously, because it's Friday. <laughs> it's a Friday night. It, not Friday night. It's just a Friday in freaking LA. If y'all live in LA or if you're familiar with LA, you know, like, Fridays are just busy. Like, everyone's out. Everyone's, you know, doing whatever. And then... Went to the Grove. The Grove was cool. Key had never been to the Grove. So I was like, oh girl, I gotta take you to the Grove. Went to Nordstrom. Cute. I saw this bag I really want, but then I was like, it seems worth it. I don't know. I have to think on it. 
And then we thought they were going to have a plus size section because the Nordstrom that I normally go to has a plus size section. But that Nordstrom didn't have a plus size section. I was like, oh, so y'all like big girls, huh? Yeah. If they had skims, but they didn't have as much skims as other Nordstroms have had. They also didn't have Good American. Like, they didn't have anything. And I was like... I wanted to buy something like you know how you just be wanting to like spend something and you can't find anything to spend it on like nothing was giving and i'll be honest you guys lately i've just been so bored like nothing is just like pops out at me and it's just been like giving i mean it's been like a couple of things but i just feel like in the industry right now i don't know what it is like i'm not I'm just not wowed right now. I don't know. I need some inspo. I mean, Fashion Week it definitely gave me like some inspo. I just really think like I'm done with the heat and like what I have to wear in the summer and I'm ready to move on to the fall. Like I'm, do I have makeup on my shirt? I'm just ready to move on. I'm just ready for trench coats and <sighs> turtlenecks and boots and whatever else you guys <laughs> just ready just ready for the next thing like what's next but also like i had like a weird moment today i was talking to keen i was just like we went in aritzia and i just felt weird in there like i felt so weird in there because i don't feel like aritzia has anything for me I didn't try anything on, even though, like, a couple people have told me, like, oh, no, like, you can fit um, something in there because, like, it's stretchy. But Aritzia stops, like, an extra large or an extra, extra large. And it's, like, going into Zara. And you just kind of, like, start getting this feeling, like, I don't belong here. And kind of, like, this feeling of, like, everyone's looking at me, like, what is this? <laughs> what is this big girl doing in here? Like, girl, we don't have anything for you type vibe. Like, I can't be the only one that be feeling that let me taste this because it's good this is an odd combination i tried to make like a low-key like espresso martini vibe but it's not that this is giving like kalua <laughs> but yeah it was just like a weird feeling for me i was just like mm. but <laughs> yeah at the end of the day it was what it was and then uh the grove also has like an asos nordstrom nothing in there was giving so i'm just like you know what maybe that was god telling me that i need to save my money <laughs> and i don't need to buy anything right now especially if i'm not saying anything i want like i don't need to just be spinning just to spin just to say that i spent you know what i mean so yeah yeah i don't know like I'm kind of in like a weird place at the moment and I'm kind of having a weird time like right now like today well, I was fine but then after Key left like it was just like weird I don't know if it's because like oh, I'm back by myself again and like I love being by myself but sometimes it's just like dang I'm like out here by myself I mean I'm not like my family's at their house at their house but I live like 20 minutes from them so you know but it's not even that it's like other things that i'll probably share with you guys at a later date i want to make sure that i handle it on a business note um but basically like i signed with this management company i felt like i felt very early on i didn't sign i was doing a trial but i felt very early on after I started my trial, it wasn't going to be a fit. It just wasn't going to be a match for me. Um, but I feel like that was God because I feel like he's closing that door. And like, there's another door that has opened for me. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm trying not to be like, it's just like I'm in a wave of emotions. And I'm hoping that I'm good enough of a creator. And I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to let myself down. Because what I went through with the agency that I was doing my trial with, it just was really a letdown and it just set me back a little bit. So it is what it is. Like we ball, we fall, 
one thing about me is I get up and I keep pushing like it never happened. Um, you know, I learn from things and certain decision making and, you know, we move forward. But I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel, I feel some type of way, but I'm going to deal with it and I'm going to handle it in a professional way. Because one thing as a black woman, y'all, in business, in these industries, even though someone might be doing something that we feel like is like, well, like we have to address it a certain way. In a certain way, we have to move because people will label us aggressive or she's a diva or she's a B-I-T-C-H. And not, nah, it's not even that, but what you're not gonna do, three things about me. You're not gonna play with my family. You're not gonna play with my money. Oh, not the middle finger. My money. Oh no, that's the middle finger. Okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna play with my family. You're not gonna play with my buddy, and you're not gonna play with me. Period. Like you're. That's what you're not gonna do. Like that's where I draw boundaries, and we cut. You know. So that's kind of what I'm having to deal with. Um, and I just think that this next door that's opening is with an agency that I've been watching for a while how they move and I know they vouch for their people and I think they can teach me a lot and I think that you know it should just will be a better fit I think that they'll better understand how to represent people that look like me um in color as well as as a plus size woman woman you know so I don't know y'all I just feel like I'm processing a lot of things right now and I feel like I have for a while and I'm just trying to hold on and keep on I read all your comments and it makes me feel so much better but like I'm still trying to like just navigate this thing called life and make decisions for myself the best that I can you know so I'm just gonna take my little drink it's still Friday okay and I'm gonna chill out on the couch and Beverly Hills was yesterday so I'll catch up on Beverly Hills today I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow honestly you guys I just I'm taking things as they go <laughs> you're probably gonna get a lot more like home content this wig no this needs to be fixed you're probably gonna get a lot more home content and stuff for me because I need to save money for this birthday trip like I'm doing the most so I don't know what it is with this hair right now. I don't know. I think I maybe like a feather bang. You know? Whatever. But I'm about to lay down and chill. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just like ugh. Oh, you know what? My periods also come soon. So that's like also a factor in like PMS and you know. So <laughs> good afternoon, babies. It's Saturday. It's like two, I think, like two o'clock. Um transparent moment <laughs> just about whatever transparency okay like what do we not transparent on this channel but um i started my cycle this morning and i knew it was coming like i knew it because i could feel it you know the tracker said it was coming i just knew she was approaching today and my mood has just been so off like i have not been like you know how i normally am like hype nothing so Today I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna spend time with myself. I was gonna see what my best friend was doing today. She's get, her mom was braiding her hair. So I don't know if she's gonna come out or not. Like, of course she can always come over to the house. We can drink wine, we can eat whatever. But as of right now, <laughs> it's just gonna do some things for Christine Day. So I was like, when I'm not feeling well, what do we do? We shop. No, I'm just kidding. But I am about to run to Trader Joe's because I need to get flowers. I have no flowers in my house. And y'all know I love to keep fresh flowers. Sorry, I'm just putting my watch on. Um, I love keeping fresh flowers in the house. And that needs... It's just... Wait a minute. I'm going to have glue now. Okay, I thought this broke, but the class was just closed. I was about to like literally have a fit because this is my grandmother's watch. Um, but I want to go to Trader Joe's. I just want to pick up like a few snacks and I'm gonna make like a really small like charcuterie board for me this evening. And 
you know, just some little snack, something for me to, you know, sip on and snack on. And then I want to get some fresh flowers. Fresh flowers always make me feel better. I don't know why I have not had any in my house for the last, like, week and a half, two weeks. Your girl been neglecting her health herself and what makes her happy you know but yeah y'all so i'm getting ready to leave outfit is very very chill i don't even think i need to show y'all but it's cute actually just super cute and chill of course no makeup today it's saturday i'm not doing anything on camera and honestly y'all it like feeds my soul that i'm now like confident enough to go out with just my natural skin like i have my skin is cool like it's 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 cool <laughs> and i don't i don't know like people ask me like how do you do your skin i'm like i don't know guys simple is better less is more when it comes to skincare at least with my skin types but i'm getting ready to head out the house because it's hot in here all right y'all it's so weird driving this car though because i don't have a car mount in here like you can't even see me barely over the stairwell it's so cute y'all like <laughs> mommy car literally they have like cameras and you can see the whole back seat like i live for it the black interior the listen <laughs> i love my little um i love my little road get everything <laughs> i don't have a note on that car it's paid for it's paid off i did not have to buy it or anything like that but this car is very cute however my next car is going to be probably like i don't know i'm not gonna tell y'all i'm not gonna tell y'all i have thoughts in my head about it but you know you know anyways but this is like a jeep um oh, i forgot a, this is a jeep yeah i literally sat here and forgot what type of jeep this is it's a jeep um jeep Oh my god oh jeep grand cherokee it's a jeep grand cherokee it's very big very spacious i was like this is a car for a thick growl like me and keep was in here like we both leaning on the dash ain't nobody's arm touching eat nobody like she got to pick me up she got the back front cameras which i need okay i need the back and front cameras because y'all know i really can't drive well like i can but like i just need it and yeah i love it so like maybe when i have kids i'll get this and then have like my other car as my car like you know my mommy car with my kids not in the car because i can't pick up the home girls with crayons in the back you get me <laughs> but yeah so i'll probably have this for the next like couple of weeks and then i'll get my car back <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm just grateful to have a car honestly <laughs> y'all not me just realizing this truck has a sunroof i have not had a sunroof in my car okay i'm really acting like i've never been in anything nice like don't get that impression y'all my parents have luxury cars okay but <laughs> i don't have a luxury car i have a very standard car but i haven't had a sunroof in my car since my honda Accord. rest in peace rest in peace to goldie my honda Accord. she is the one that died in my big accident she definitely saved my life but ah, i love like come on lighting come on light <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so ignorant y'all like <laughs> yeah i gotta pick the homegirls up we're gonna go on a quick like road trip in this like everybody can be popped in the back the guy at the dealership told me that there's a part in the back in the trunk that people use as a cooler like oh we gotta pull up to the beach like we gotta pull up to a tailgate all the girls like this is real cute jeep and i knew i like jeep like i love wranglers but my brother was always like never get a wrangler because they tip fast they tip really really easily um but i just love jeeps like they're just so cute so i'm like mm, y'all gonna see me rolling in a little jeep i don't i don't know because this is noise <laughs> this is noise y'all remember that it don't smell like roaches or nothing in here <laughs> too many hashes don't get it. <laughs> i don't even know what that's from oh that was from that one movie she did with what's her name 
I cannot remember the name of that movie. Oh, I shouldn't be talking about her anyway. Isn't she canceled? Because, y'all, I saw that video that people are talking about, and it made me very uncomfortable. I clicked out of it. I was like, this is not right. Like, how could two adults think that this is funny? How could anyone think this is funny? How could anyone think that's the right way to bring awareness to SA in minors you know it was just it was a very like odd video I don't know if any of you guys have seen it but yeah I'm not a big Tiffany Haddish fan anyway or the other guy because you were talking about Lizzo so yeah yeah it's over with it's over with it's done with hi um do you guys have pumpkin today yes oh perfect um can I get a grande ice pumpkin spice latte um can you make that with oat milk and blonde shots Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Anything else? No, that'll be all. All right, that'll be six forty-five. Thank you. Hi. Okay. You got oat milk on that, right? Okay. Perfect. Um, it's fine. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Oh my god, I'm so excited for my pumpkin spice. Yeah, yeah. Because last time they didn't have it. Talking about they out. Like, girl. Talk about it's a shortage. Like, okay. I don't know. Y'all need to figure it out. Go over there take it from Duncan. Don't know why you be a Duncan like that. I love you, though. Duncan's good. Anyways, okay. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's. I got my coffee. The day is getting started. Oh my god, I think my camera balances here so we can like car check. Today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good evening. Y'all, it is so many people at Trader Joe's. Like in theory, I get it. Like, yeah, it's Trader Joe's, Christine. Duh. But realistically there are so many people at <laughs> and it's just kind of one of them things where it's like why is there so many people here right now because oh I told y'all it was two something it's definitely 4 32 um it's 4 32 on a Saturday and I just felt like I came later because I personally thought people you know would come earlier <sighs> We're trying to vlog in here because everyone's up in here everybody literally and they mama whole car of kids and their parents just got out next to me everybody and their mama in here <sighs> girl you ain't girl go get out this car you know get what you gotta get and go home normally i don't have whipped cream this is good my stomach is for sure gonna hurt later. quick honestly ended up getting just a already done flower bouquet because trader joe's did not have a good selection of flowers like normally they have like uh, white roses they have tools i don't know tools are in season i don't even know flower season but everything was very scarce because they just had like a big section of pumpkins so maybe they're not getting as much flowers right now 
of course they had orchids and then you know these type of bouquets they had sunflowers so i was like let me get a little color they're so pretty though i never have like colorful flowers in my house they're always just white with green stems because that's like my signature flower you know my house is very like neutral so i like my flowers neutral but i'm like color would be cute and these are like all flower these are like um, this is like a nice fall bouquet the eucalyptus the sunflowers i think these are i don't know what type of flowers these are you guys tell me is this a chrysanthemum i don't know <laughs> the little whatever so you guys i don't know i just know what pretty looks like okay um so i'm about to set up my little vase and just put them in the water i also love this fall vase you guys i got this from target it's very cute so i don't really have to cut the stems where are my scissors okay so just about to put them in the vase i actually have so much stuff that i need to show y'all oh lord i'm gonna drop the flowers i have so much stuff i need to show y'all I got a lot of um pr well not a lot of i got a couple packages also went to miss lola and picked up some bags she has the cutest stuff i don't know if y'all shop miss lola i don't know if y'all ever heard of miss lola she has a couple of locations here in la and she just has like the cutest like bottega dupes like come on and most of the bottega dupes are from like public desire or ego in the uk so it'll take forever to get here and i can just be in la and go pick them up or order it it'll get here super quick okay i actually like buying them like this because like i haven't perfected my bouquet Ooh! my bouquet making skills Come the face they're like the perfect this vase is the perfect size it just goes straight in. See? Okay. I'm dropped. It's all going here straight. No cutting. No nothing. So pretty. Except for this one. It's like leaning. Like, bro. Sit up. And be pretty with your siblings. It's like, be a part of the bouquet. Okay. It's, girl. Uh, it's cute, though. I love this. It's really pretty. But... I'm a big advocate in buying myself flowers, y'all. Like, there's no one at the moment purchasing me flowers. And I feel like whoever I do end up dating or whatever, like, I wonder if they're going to pick up on the fact that I love flowers. You know what I mean? Like, like, are you going to get the hints and, like, buy me flowers weekly? have them sent to me weekly like that is something that i would love like even over the course of our marriage like i think stuff like that is so romantic like have you ever heard people say like oh he sends me he sends me flowers every week he still sends me flowers every week he does this for me every week you know like i feel like date nights every week like standard because you should still be kind of like dating each other like my parents do date nights every week I understand things are harder when you have like smaller kids but you still be dating each other like i still want you to treat me like a girlfriend even when we're married you know but i would love a guy like that and honestly y'all that is in my prayers like that is one of the things that i pray for like someone that's just really thoughtful and romantic even though i feel like my love language okay these are gonna sit right here on my little island thing okay aren't they pretty they look so gorgeous. I love when they, they sit on this like little counter thing that's here, like when you walk through my door, they just brighten up the room, which is really pretty. Um, but I feel like one of my love languages is, it's not necessarily gifts. I don't think thoughtfulness is a love language. So I would say one of my love languages is reassurance. Like I want to hear you. I want you to always tell me how much you love me or so happy to be with me. All these things about our life together. But I also feel like reassurance can also be shown in like sending flowers to me, writing little notes around for me to find. Like you can show your reassurance in a lot of different ways. So I feel like a lot of the love languages can like 
coincide and kind of go together you know but yeah i love flowers they're so pretty if anyone ever wants to know what to get me anything designer and also flowers thanks <laughs> <laughs> but let me show you all the bags i got as well they're so cute miss lola has the cutest little packaging it was to say it says yes i'm a shoeaholic no i don't need help i actually didn't get shoes this time i didn't really see any shoes so i was like yes i need you know okay so this first bag i'm dying first of all the color drove me to it and y'all know fall is like next week yes fall is this upcoming week no this week or next week Oh, this week or the week following one of them fall is very close and y'all know fall is my season fall is the season i wild out i'm a fall baby like bring me the trench coats bring me the chicness bring me the boots bring me the fur give me the hats give it all to me so this is the first bag that i got isn't she so cute bottega has a very similar rag and i just love her she's in this hot pink fur so cute with the knotted strap the knotted handle it has a lot of room oh and it's puffy inside too you guys look can you see it it has like cushion and it's puffy inside this is so cute i don't know what i'm gonna wear this with fashion nova has this like hot pink fur coat that looks like this but that's like too much let's give it like your 90s little kim and biggie which isn't a bad aesthetic that's just not what I want to get. So I gotta figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear this with, but whatever it's gonna be. Fire! Okay. <laughs> and then the next bag I've got is another, actually, this is another Bottega dupe inspired little baby. This I might wear tomorrow, which is why I didn't want to wait to show y'all. Because I need to show y'all things before I wear it. You know, it's not the same once I wear it. Whatever. But this little mini clutch, you guys. This little mini clutch, you guys. Stop. It's so cute. And it comes with a little strap. I'm probably not going to use the strap, so I'll just chuck it in the bag. But it's just like this mini little silver clutch. It's very small. I have another one like this that's a little more full size. It's actually right here. I have this gold one. Y'all seen this before. This one's actually from Amazon. I believe it's linked on my storefront. So if you guys want this one, then I'll leave the, my um, Amazon storefront link below. But this one is bigger than this. I would say this one's like a mini. This one's a regular size clutch. They're both really cute. This one's like kind of like a croc print. It has a lot of room inside this one well these are a little more spacious than they appear so i feel like this could fit my phone my keys probably a lip gloss maybe my listerine spray and maybe a couple other things that's about it but yeah y'all so i will list the links for all of this if y'all want a cute little bag it's time to start getting your fall looks together baby i feel like fall is where you can tell like who got it you know who got it who do i feel like summer is a little easy because like tank tops shorts bodysuits whatever but fall is when you gotta wear more clothes i feel like sometimes with when it comes to like style and fashion like trendy is one thing but it's like fall is where you show like oh i've got it like i've got style you know what i mean like summer is very easy because like i don't know some people contribute like style and fashion to like naked and that's not it style and fashion is just how you put things together and how you wear it that's why i always tell y'all like whatever you wear i don't care if it's vintage i don't care if it's thrifted i don't care if you just got out your mama's closet i don't care if it's 1500 dollars luxury i don't care if it's from fashion Nova. i don't care if it's from shein it's all about how you wear it it could be from shein it could be in ten dollars and you'll walk down the street and you styled it to perfection someone's gonna think that it's designer like give what let the outfit you know you wear the outfit don't let the outfit wear you and less is more okay those are my two biggest tips less equals more less equals more that's just my style now some people do look really cute with like a lot of different mixed prints and stuff and colors and for me less 
equals more y'all notice like i don't do like a lot of like stack chains it's not a lot of it's just not a whole lot because i believe that less equals more and let me wear the outfit and me be the star but the outfit is also the star and it just all is like cohesive or whatever you know but i'm not gonna get off on a fashion tangent i could talk about that all day i'm about to make my little um charcuterie charcuterie board <laughs> my little charcuterie board because i'm ready to chill you guys <sighs> my uterus <laughs> the lighting of my uterus <laughs> what's it called isn't it the lining of my uterus is falling out that's such a vulgar way to say it <laughs> but i'm cramping a little and i want to sit down i want to lay down on my couch and watch the crown now i've already seen the crown but with the recent passing of queen elizabeth for some reason it had me want to watch it again because you know the royal family to me is just scandalous and it's just a lot of drama going on so i'm like let me rewatch it because i started watching when it came out and i believe that was in like 2020 or maybe like 2019 right before the pandemic or was i watching it in the pandemic either way it was a couple of years ago and the last season was probably like a year ago it's three seasons so the last season we left off with princess diana's story so i don't know what the next season is going to be netflix i don't know if netflix has even said when the next season is going to come out i don't know how current it's going to be however i'm re-watching it because i need to remember because i feel like it's going to be soon and i'm wondering if next season is going to feature like the boys like are we going to get into megan like i don't know because it doesn't do it from like every year it just does it from like every like year where there's a big thing happening in the royal family so i feel like this next season season four is going to have to do with the princess maybe megan old girl charlotte is that her name kate no kate that royal wedding and just that whole everything that's going on right now but it's also like currently happening right now so i don't know how netflix is going to do that but i'm here for it i'm here for drama i'm here for other people's drama that's why i love housewives that's why i love all this messy stuff and i'll be watching i am zoe messy mondays and shaver but all that like here for it now when it comes to me y'all can have it <laughs> i don't want to drama in my life but one thing about me is i'm gonna watch it <laughs> and we gonna talk about it <laughs>
All right, babe, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. I, you guys, I'm so tired. Like, when I tell you, being on my cycle drains me, but I ended up like kind of plugging my wig a little bit more and cutting some extra lace off. I feel like it looks like a little bit better, but I'm going to bed early, y'all, because I'm F what is it called? I'm F R E E. Good free. That means I don't have to worry about no B. Yeah, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> with no worries with a smile on my face so y'all know how many nights i used to go to bed and be like worried or couldn't sleep because i was anxious about what somebody was doing like a girl gone are the days like you thought i was feeling you <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? Clearly, I've been on TikTok all night. Clearly. But I'm really just about to prep for tomorrow. I'm going to church in the morning like I always do. So I have to make sure my outfit is okay for that. Yeah. You never know who's going to show up at church. Like, I don't really think there's anyone currently at my church for me. Cause everyone's either young or just like, just not up to par. I like, I just don't want to, you know? It's never in nobody at church. Like, <laughs> I feel like everyone grew up together. Like, it's just not that vibe, you know? But you never know. New visitors, who knows? I'm just kidding. I just like to serve a little cute little look. I also kind of want to film a TikTok in the morning, but we'll see how that goes. I have my alarm set for 6.35 and then another one for seven. So if I can wake up at 6.35, I'd have time to film like a cute, like get dressed with me or a little TD. I feel like the hair looks good. Um, I really want to kind of cut it a little bit. Oh, I'm also prepping my outfit to take photos tomorrow because I usually like to post on Instagram on Sundays, I don't know, it's just a high engagement day. It's just like my day. I've always posted on Sundays on Instagram. Um, and that's when I'm with Lun Lun. And uh, people don't know like that London is behind all of my social media. Like she's behind all my pictures, the majority of my videos, unless you know, I'm doing them at my, by myself at home. But because I am with my family on Sundays, I take full advantage of Lun Lun. You know, she's young. She's hip, ew, and I'm be saying like a hip, like I'm 26, chill. But you know, she gets it. She's like she takes my pictures so well. I have trained her. Lena has been doing this probably since she was like 11, and she just gets it. Like she will be in my okay. <laughs> Hold on, because I was just about to go in. Did y'all see that? Like I'm trying. I want to cut like a little bit of a layer. I have this thing where like I always have to cut my wigs. Like even this is long for me, which is why I don't know why I always get them long. I'm gonna leave the length for now. I really want them to be, I love a mid cut, but I'm gonna leave this one long cause I cut all of the mid. I cut my brown one to kind of like a medium cut. Why is my lace coming up? I just sometimes I just I need to put my band on anyways I just want to cut it real quick and then I'll put my band on um okay I'm just gonna oh god I just want like a little layer in the front you guys mind you I'm a little buzzed I've had some wine and I know all the hairstylists that might be watching my videos right now are like cringing. Sorry guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to do something. Very much something. Which I don't know why I always do stuff like this impulsively. Because I don't get it dog on well. I literally had just said now I'm gonna have to sleep. I literally just said that I was gonna take 
my units to my friend Shelby, who is a professional hairstylist, <laughs> to layer them. Her or her boyfriend, Kim, they are both very professional hairstylists. <laughs> like, very professional. And I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I've just mastered putting on a wig and I'm just like, I'm barely doing that, so. Well, we're going through and we're trying to layer something. I feel like I did this side enough. Like, it's it's enough. I did a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. To give it a little bit body. So, especially because I wear it, like, curled. You know? I don't know. Just Do you just, like, go through and just, like, cut it like that? It's, like, a little bit coming through. Yeah, this is probably not the best time to be doing this, but oh well. I also feel like because I wear my hair <laughs> curled, it kind of hides whatever mistakes that I make. You know, I just know I'm doing this wrong. A little hair, whatever. I don't even know if I did layers. I don't think I did, but whatever. It looks a little different to me. Like it's a little shorter in the front, which is kind of what I wanted. I really be wanting like a bang. Okay, I actually cut a little bit. That's, that's short. You guys, okay, I'm gonna stop <laughs> before I mess my leg up because I'm not doing my hair today. Okay. I want to show you guys how I get my curls. I never actually curl my hair. I use this heatless curler, which I'm obsessed with. The best thing I've ever bought on Amazon. I'm about to put my hair up in my little, what you call it? Yeah, tell me why someone, one commented the other day talking about, I been hear you breathe heavy recently and it's like you guys <laughs> what first of all i know exactly what you're talking about it was in the vlog where i was like running in the rain back to the car talking about yeah i was breathing heavenly i was like power walking running in the rain so i wouldn't get dry so i wouldn't get wet two i don't know if you guys have noticed but i'm a big girl Okay, <laughs> like I'm plus size. I might breathe heavy every now and then. I might wheeze. No, I'm not wheezing. Like we ain't there yet. But I might breathe a little heavy. Yeah, your girl be getting winded sometimes. Is it the best thing? Definitely not. Am I working on it? For sure. But it's nothing to be alarmed about. Trust me. <laughs> like it's not, it's not that deep, you guys. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have anything. I'm good. But I am trying to walk consistently and stuff. Like I'm not like no, don't 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 do that. I don't like when people do that. <laughs> also, sometimes like I'm talking to y'all a lot, you know. I just had a glass of wine. Like, yeah, you might get a little bit of extra breaths and like I don't breathe when I talk like I don't know if that makes sense but like sometimes I talk fast and sometimes I talk a lot and I'm not like taking breaths through it so at some point you'll hear me like you know like get my breaths in oh my god I swear big people can't do nothing without thinking you doing it because you be like <laughs> like girl like yes plus size definitely but like I'm not there yet i'm not 600 pound life yet not 400 pounds like i'm not <laughs> like i'm i you guys i'm aware of everything that's going on you don't have to point anything out to me i don't need your medical advice i'm very aware of what's going on in my body like gosh sometimes like y'all need to like censor the things that you say because first of all 
I don't care. Second of all, I'm not gonna say I don't care because I really do value you guys, I do. But it's just like not always necessary. I'm not blind to the fact. I'm not dumb. I know very well what's going on with myself. You know, I feel like I'm very transparent about things as well. And just know that your girl is gonna always do what she has to do to be good at the end of the day. Like just, just know that, watch your weary heart and relax your mind, okay? <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't stand me, okay, so. This is my heatless curler from Amazon. This will be in my storefront as well, y'all. So I just like missed my hair a little bit with a little bit misting bottle. This will also be in my storefront. Oh my God, look at me at Amazon, Betty. And then I like to just like make sure I just go through and brush it a bit so it comes out super smooth. I When I tell y'all I never use my wand anymore, I never use a curler. All the curls, waves you see in my hair is because of this. So, you take it by part and then you just begin like wrapping it. Oh, excuse me. You just begin wrapping it around the little band. And it's super comfortable to sleep in because it's very soft. And these curls pretty much last me all day. Like, you can make it, you can have super curls that'll fall during the day. If you want like a more beach wave look, you can definitely do it a lot less tight than I'm doing it. Or you can like brush them out in the morning. But this is a really good way, like if you're wearing your natural hair, to put less heat on your hair. And also, you know, less heat on your extensions. Even just because they're extensions, you know, there's still human hair if you're wearing human hair extensions, babe. Um, you need to still put less heat on them. Like, human hair should not have that much heat on it. You know, you want to preserve them for as long as you can. So, that just like a wrap around here. And it's that easy. Like, you get good curls, minimum effort. This takes maybe all of five minutes. And then I just put the scunchie on it. it and I kind of shove it up just to get like tighter curls so I can brush them out in the morning and still have like nice body nice curl and then I'm gonna do this side just spray I stopped like mixing condition oh I stopped mixing conditioner in my spray bottle because I pretty much do this process every night and I started realizing that all that product was building up in my hair and it was making my hair ick. So I just do water, especially because I just recently, actually on Saturday I took this wig off. I washed it, conditioned it, and then put it back on. So it's good to go as far as, oh Lord. It's good to go as far as like not having any product build up. Unless you feel like your hair needs some type of like reviving, you know, you can mix it with conditioner, but I just don't like the product build up, you know, especially when you guys, I'm just supposed to know. I just take this one to the back and I tie these together because I lost the scrunchies that actually go with this. Cause it comes with this one scrunchies but i just tie it together in the back like that and then put my bonnet on well i take this off put my bonnet on and go to bed <laughs> and then i'll have beautiful curls in the morning no heat very minimal effort like i just like i'm not that great at curling my hair the way that i want to and it just takes so much time to do in the morning because I like when my hair looks fresh and laid. So this is the best option. So you guys, again, this will be in my Amazon storefront. I love you guys so much. Good night. Mwah.
Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. My house is a mess. How? It is beyond. I swear I cleaned this place up on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. And it's back to being a little bit messy. One, because I did try on clothes. So they're just all over my living room. I don't know why I try on clothes in here. But two, you just, just know how it is. You know how I am. Getting outfits together, everything's a mess. But because it's Monday, I feel like this is my postmate. Oh no, it's my dad. Okay. Um, Lord, what was I getting ready to tell y'all? Oh, because it's Monday, it's pretty much admin day for me. Y'all know I'm doing emails, I'm cleaning up, running errands that I need to run, replying to comments. Yesterday's outfit went over so well, so freaking well. I'm so happy because I have had the outfit in my head and I executed it. There are some details I wish that I would have done after the fact, but it's fine. It's over with. It's done. It's posted. Reels are up. TikToks are up. Photos are up. Oh, okay. I was supposed to vlog a little bit yesterday. I know you guys think I'm such a horrible vlogger and my vlogs have probably been really boring lately, but it's literally because I'm trying to get me together and my life together and I'm doing a lot of planning in my head. So don't mind that. But I also want to, I don't think I have any errands to run. I have a ton of packages to open. So I'm going to open those with y'all a little bit later, but I'm going to do some emails works right now. So brands I have to apply to, I just ordered i ordered a smoothie from my favorite smoothie shop to i just i ordered a smoothie from my favorite smoothie shop it should be arriving right now because i need some sustenance okay and then i want a slight meal prep really slight like i don't even know what i'm gonna do i'm probably just gonna boil the entire carton of eggs that i bought because it's just me like a carton of 18 eggs is a lot no it's 12 i think 12 or 18, one of them. Um, but if I boil them, they'll get eaten. Like, they'll get eaten quicker than me, like, cooking an egg and making an egg. Because I can eat a boiled egg at, egg at any time of the day. So I'm going to boil eggs. <laughs> That's, like, the randomest thing ever. But I'm going to boil eggs. And then I might unthaw some chicken and make some chicken for the week. You know? So I could just have quick things. And I kind of want to go on a hot girl walk. A little later because it's just time we gotta we gotta to get the body together surprisingly i woke up and my waist is kind of coming in a little bit y'all see that little but also i haven't eaten today excuse this little oil mark on my bra but whatever we're getting it together i need to do this for my health i need to get it i need to do this for my health my trip is coming up you know i want no limitations i don't want to be out of breath doing activities i want to have so much fun i want to cannonball into the pool i want my leg to be my best so i'm gonna try to get out on a little walk today whether it's to down the street or going to my favorite park we have to do some movement or i might do grow with joe i love grow with joe like that's my grow here on youtube um but we're gonna do something so i'm just waiting for my smoothie i'm gonna start replying to some emails and then i'm gonna do some pr some try ons and stuff a little bit later but i hope you guys are having a productive monday even though you're not seeing this on a monday you should probably gonna see this on a tuesday or wednesday or thursday whenever you're seeing this. I hope that you're having a very productive day. Y'all look at this. I have clothes everywhere. All over my living room. All over my sofa chair because I have been unboxing things, trying things on. But the exciting part about it, y'all know what that means. That My hair, crazy. But the good part about it, y'all know what that means. That means a try on haul is coming ASAP. And y'all have really been on my head about hauls. But I don't do them unless I'm excited about the fashions. And the girls just ain't been releasing the fashions. But now that fall is coming, I feel like the fashions are coming. So we're going to get into a haul. And hopefully that'll be out this week. Starting with Fashion Nova. Which actually has some really cute pieces coming. Okay guys, my smoothie is here. I got it from Movita Juice Bar. I don't know if you guys have a Movita where you are, but... They're here, kind of like on the outsides of LA. And they have some really good smoothies. I get a peanut butter banana with chocolate protein smoothie. I kind of use this. Oh, my nail. Don't, don't look at my nail. I lost a nail. Um, I use this as kind of like a meal replacement. Kind of not. Because I also get like a little turkey sandwich that make them fresh. They're really good. I typically eat this like a couple hours after I have my smoothie. 
and then but these smoothies are so good y'all i'm really a smoothie grow like i like to do like little meal replacements throughout my day especially if i'm trying to like lose a little bit of weight and someone told me like protein 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 like get your protein in so i'm trying to get my protein in as much as possible that's one reason why i just could not do keto like I tried, but I could not do keto. Like, you have to have so much protein, so much fat, no carbs, no sugar, but it's hard to, like, get the amounts that I needed to get in personally for my body, and it just didn't make me feel good. So I'm just going to try to eat more good fats, good carbs, good proteins, move a little bit more, and I feel like that's what works for my body. Like, that's why I'm not doing, like, a weight loss routine or like a weight loss challenge here on this channel like we used to do back in the day because i don't need anybody like being my nutritionist being my doctor i do like the accountability however as humans we fall down but i get back up every time <laughs> and i like to treat myself and i don't like to like cut everything in my life i like to just pull less portions you know because i know me like I've been on every single diet. I fat diet a lot. I cut things out of my life a lot. And then I end up binging and gaining all my weight back. So just like trying to incorporate certain things back into my lifestyle while not cutting out everything, but just making better choices, especially when it comes to food and how I feed myself and how I move and, you know, just treat my body like that will result in the weight loss that i'm looking for so i'm about to get started with some work and then i'm gonna come back on camera in a little bit i'm gonna try to be productive today and not just scroll on tiktok <laughs> i'm gonna start i'm gonna try to start okay this is the goal for the day i need to post on pinterest okay i've been meaning to start my pinterest i've seen myself on pinterest because other people post me but i need to post myself so if you guys are on Pinterest, I'm going to leave my link down below. Follow me on Pinterest because I'll put like different like outfit ideas and links and everything. And maybe some exclusive content on Pinterest as well. Um, so that's a big goal today. Also to start my LTK. I've been having my LTK. Haven't posted a thing on it because I don't know. It's a little difficult to like figure out. And I'm so like magic links heavy, but I need to go onto LTK as well. I'm, have, I'm trying to have all the options for the girls. All right. So I'm going to get down, sit down, hunker down, get my work done. And then we'll have fun at open packages lately. My Alexa. We'll have fun at open packages later. <laughs> Babes, I'm back. Yeah, this has been like. <laughs> This is, it's really been a long day i actually just kind of woke up from a nap because i'm so sleepy when i am on my period i got period sorry it's my time in the month whatever anyways um i got a lot of work done didn't get everything done i'll probably still be up tonight doing some things as well replying to some more emails honestly the sleep took over me i'm re-watching the crown that kind of distracted me i'm just like really one of those people that get distracted unless i have like you know unless i'm like up filming and things like that even then i get distracted but ain't nothing but gonna distract me from opening these packages though because i've been waiting to open them all week because i want to open them with y'all so package number one it's from none other than Rihanna herself. Yes, I'm on Rihanna's PR list. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. It's from Savage. But they send me packages pretty much every month um, to make content with, as they do a lot of content creators. But this one is different, and this one is special because it's their new Savage X Fenty loungewear, which I'm very excited about. Y'all know, honey, I live... A loungewear especially around the house i live in anything that is comfortable to go outside in especially with falls coming up the colder months are coming up i mean i hope because honestly this weekend it's gonna be like 99 degrees and have another heat spike so it's just like la counter freaking days like i'm ready to put on a trench coat and eat these looks okay so the first set and they gave me two sets so this first one it's just like dark purple eggplant color and i think these are joggers are these stray leg sweatpants oh these are what are these joggers i think these are like cuffed straight leg sweatpants you guys they're really nice they feel super soft hopefully these fit these look like they'll fit 
they're pretty stretchy oh yeah these will fit for sure because i like my sweatpants to be baggy but these are so nice y'all this is a really nice color of course it has the savage x minty logo and i believe they're having 50 percent off on their website for this launch so if you guys are interested in getting um any fenty loungewear then of course check that out these are cute i'm gonna put these on right now but it's already in the day today we're not wasting clothes they also sent me the matching i want to say this is probably a hoodie let's see i hope this is a crop hoodie because i've been seeing that they have crop hoodies and that would be very cute it is <laughs> it's a cute little cropped hoodie to match the uh, sweatpants and this dark purple color y'all this is so freaking cute i'm excited for this this is actually really nice it's very soft as well it's fleece okay this is really nice honestly i was wondering what that he was gonna um expand over into loungewear because baby it's been too long and i just love fenty as a brand and i think it should be a full brand like give us loungewear give us bodysuits give us you know give us skims give us skims go by rihanna you know okay so this next one i think i know which set this is i've seen a couple other girls in this set i'm excited for this one as well this is like true true loungewear like you know some loungewear pieces you can wear out the house in style but some loungewear pieces are for the house <laughs> or for bed uh, okay so this is like a little boy short i take all the paper out so this is a little crop tank top oh wow this is nice yes this is like at home um loungewear so this is like the like flouncy like you know this room in it you wear it without a bra type of vibe um or like for bed this is a little tank top and then it comes with the matching it comes with the matching little coochie cutters <laughs> the matching little boy shorts i love these y'all these are stuff that i love to wear to bed these are the hold on rib essentials it has the x because savage x um bottoms i love this color it's like a burnt orange i have these in a 3x you guys these are so cute next package i think this is from fabletics i also work with fabletics every month to show off one of their outfits and yes okay so every month we have to pick like from the options they send us for what they're releasing in the month and we do three different choices so i've always done fabletic sets but this month they gave us yitty choices and i was like oh my god i want the yitty i hope they send me the yitty they sent me the yitty <laughs> they sent me the yitty 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 racket everywhere okay so i hope these are leggings so if so i'm gonna make a little like review tiktok video because i believe she just also put out like some of her loungewear i think these sets are new to oh yes they're the biker shorts oh, you guys these are so cute this all babe i want to be this house bestie like i feel like if she met me because this is all like a pisces is this all pisces what is Lizzo's zodiac sign? Here's an answer from Jacabica. It. Lizzo's zodiac sign is Taurus. Lizzo is a Taurus. Lizzo's a freaking Taurus. I get along so well with Taurus. My sister is a Taurus. And my other sister is a Pisces. My brother's a Gemini. We all get along so well. But I feel like me and Lizzo get along really, really well. And we'll meet at some point. It's inevitable. It's inevitable that we're going to meet at some point. But, um, yes, Fabletics sent me the Yeti set. These are biker shorts. They're so freaking cute. And they have compression. You guys, I don't think these are necessarily for shapewear. These are just for, like, loungewear every day or, like, a workout yoga type, which are very cute. I can wear this in a little workout room or when I'm doing my girl with Joe in the house or when I'm just lounging. And then they sent me... Oh, Lord. 
I'm kind of out of breath a little bit. Oh, okay. And then they sent me. Child, I'm going to get it together one day. I really am. I'm just like, every day is the fight. I'm going to fight for my life to like get it together. Um, <laughs> is this little, um, they sent me the little bralette, which look a little small. Let me see what size they sent this to me in. Oh, they sent this to me in a 3X. If it stretches, show This thing, yeah, it stretches a bit. This one's really compressed. I want to try this on right now, but I'll be honest with you guys. My cycle's really taking all the energy from me, and it's just not going to happen. All right, babe, so this next package is from ASOS. Unfortunately, this is not PR. I had to buy this myself. It would be really nice if I could collaborate with ASOS. I have been shopping ASOS literally for years. And even though, like, I don't know, I feel like they've changed up a little bit. I'm still able to find, like, some really good, like, just really good pieces on ASOS, especially when it comes to, like, cargos. And ASOS was one of the places that I found that I felt, like, carried clothes that I wanted to wear. So I think I found ASOS like freshman year of college which was like 2013 so yeah the fashion industry as far as plus size fashion was not <laughs> it was not giving what it's giving right now so to find asos at that time it was a really big deal for me but i got these high knee boots because they came in wide width plus size friendly oh okay stay and they are so freaking cute they're so chunky and they're like a matte black they're so soft as well and it looks really wide cap so i really want to try these on i'm gonna try this on they look wide calf and i said to myself that when i got these i would try them on first for tiktok so i hate to leave y'all thirsty and with a little cliffhanger but you guys have to follow me on tiktok because i'm trying to get my tiktok popping and some like it's hard like okay i'm gonna be real with y'all it's hard running three different social well really four different because i'm starting on pinterest as well social media channels and trying to give each one a treat like i feel like y'all here on youtube see a lot of things before anyone sees them on you on instagram or on tiktok and you guys get like more of me you know what i mean like y'all know me like y'all get a deeper look into my life so i try to like give tiktok you know something give instagram something so i think i'm gonna give tiktok the reveal in these and try them on on tiktok so y'all gotta follow me on tiktok i'm cute over there i make videos i make fashion videos and that's probably where i start doing a lot more styling videos and little hauls um i do plan to bring hauls back to this channel because y'all y'all be on me but follow me on tiktok because i don't know it's just more fun for me on tiktok i feel like the content does better on tiktok when it comes to hauls for some reason youtube does not push hauls over here anymore i feel like it just does better on tiktok also styling stuff on tiktok it's just a quicker just like more just freedom to express myself um kind of platform and i'm having fun over there and when it comes to content creation so that i don't get burnt out i like to do things that are fun for me so on youtube it's fun for me to vlog it's fun for me to do candid chrissy it's fun for me to do other type of creative videos this is a big boo look at the opening though cute um that's the big opening pretty much um but on tiktok it's just fun for me to just you know make other types of creative content so y'all go follow me on tiktok but i'm getting ready to make some dinner i'm honestly i'm just gonna heat up this little pasta i got from trader joe's i was supposed to eat on friday and i'm gonna watch the housewives reunion that came on last night elena because beverly hills i believe this week is beverly hills no i think beverly hills has like three or four more episodes to the season finale even though they just filmed the reunion, they still have a few episodes to the end. So I'm going to watch that and I'm going to eat.